Okay, guys, so it's just a vlog day. We're about to head out fishing, but there's a problem, okay? I brought my pole, but I didn't bring any baits whatsoever. No lures, no baits, no worms, no hooks, no nothing. But as you can see, we're at Walmart. And if you've read the title, you probably already know it's about to go down. We're about to do the $1 Walmart spinnerbait challenge. Let's go get them. Well, there they are. What color should we get, dude? I, I want to try maybe a black and a brighter color one. Yeah, there's not many colors to choose from, so I guess I'll go get a black one. I'll get a chartreuse one. I'll get a white one. And I'll get a yellow one. Because, I mean, that's only $4 for I'm four try this spinner baits. Funky color, and also, you ain't got it. Is this a red? Yeah, it's straight up red. Yeah, I'll try it. Worst comes to worst, I'll waste $3. I got black spinner bait, yellow spinner bait. Actually, going to trade that in for a red spinner bait. Then I got a green buzz bait and a white buzz bait. Simple enough, right? $4 worth. Let's go see if we can't catch us a bass real quick. Okay, guys, while we're at the pond, I'm going to dig into my tackle box right here and see what I come out with. I'm honestly just going to pull out the first one I pull out. But here we go. We'll pull out this red one right here. Yeah, it may be a challenge, but that's the that's the title of the video, guys. We're doing a challenge video. It's supposed to be a little bit harder than normal. We're with Shelby and Kenny B. Shelby's actually doing the challenge with me. We're actually going to be starting out with the same exact spinnerbait looks like and there's supposedly eight pounders in this pond well not supposedly but there are but yeah i'm using braided line i really didn't think about that with a spinnerbait but oh well it'll be all right okay well here we go first cast with a dollar walmart spinnerbait we got the second fish of the day there he is number two boys number two on the wacky worm he's done got two on the wacky worm there he is first one on the walmart spinnerbait boys No time to fight. We got to complete the challenge. There we go. That's, That's a pretty good one. Pretty awesome. Pretty good one, I guess. Yeah. There we go on the little red and white spinnerbait looking outfit Walmart. Here we go. I guess you can say that I completed the Walmart fish. I don't even know what I'm doing. I really don't. <laughs> like, I've done forgot what challenge I'm doing. Okay, well, there it is. I guess you can say I done completed the $1 Walmart spinnerbait challenge. There he goes. But I'm gonna get going and fish with it because, hey, why not? And that's like the legit only baits I have today, so I have to use them. Guys, I think I need sponsored by like straight up Walmart. If I get sponsored by Walmart spinner baits, I'm deleting my channel. I'm deleting my channel if I can get sponsored by Walmart spinner baits. There's a nice one. Yeah, nothing on the Walmart spinner bait, baby. There we go. Barely stinking got him. He'll probably come off while I'm trying to. Never mind. Anyways, Walmart spinner bait, baby. There's number two. And well, chuck him out there. And if you're wondering why I just like threw that fish half a mile, it's because, well, there's like 10 feet of junk right there and I can't get over there to the water. Oh, there he is. Yeah. All the way across the grass mat. That's why we use 30 pound braid here. So I don't care where I hook them. If I catch them in stinking Lake Okeechobee, I'm going to get them to where I am. Now, I'm sorry, guys, but I got to throw him back pretty far. Here you go, bud. He's fine. He found his way back. If y'all are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because I come out with new videos every single day, daily uploads. So go ahead and subscribe real quick. There he is. Oh, he's hung me up on a log. Anyways, there we go. I'm actually standing like on a log, getting ready to fall off. Forget that. We got a bass on a sting of Walmart spinnerbait. There we go. Get in the water, bass. There we go. Let's move on to the next one. There's a good one there. Well, I said good one, but I lied to you. It's just another dink. But still, we can for sure 100% say I have completed the $1 spinnerbait challenge. Get in there. Let's try to get us another one. Let's go for six. Yeah, let's go for big six. Yeah, there you go, Shelby. Now you're finally tying on a spinnerbait, huh? It took five fish for you to figure out. You should tie on a spinnerbait. I ain't gonna lie, guys. These spinnerbaits, they're catching fish. They're not as bad as you'd think, at least. I figured they'd be, like, straight-up trash. I throw them in the water, and the blade falls off, and, like, the skirt comes off on the first cast. But it's actually held up fairly good. Caught a decent amount of fish. Yeah. These all kinds of... Oh, there's one. Wow. That's an inch from the bank. And, guys, I don't know... I haven't told you this, but I actually switched to the buzz bait. It's not working as good as the spinnerbait, but the fish may have just slowed down all around. He's not a giant at all, but he is a fish. But yeah, there he is. 
Okay, guys, well, the challenge over. I completed it. He, well, sort of. He hooked it like a five-pounder on it. I was he, halfway there. He was halfway there, dude. Here's what he done, all right? So, like, I'm fishing. We both start the challenge. Kenny, the other guy that was here, he caught two fish on a wacky worm. So, you know, peer pressure got the best of him. He switched to a wacky worm. And then I went on, like, a six, five-fish streak. Then he's like, hey, maybe I should maybe tie on a spinnerbait. So, he ties one on. Hooks a five-pounder, but he flops off. But anyways, I'm just going to tell you my thoughts real quick. The overall, this is a spinnerbait that I caught five out of six fish on. You know, the blades work good. The swivels can be a lot better. The skirt could stay on better. The bait could run truer. But all in all, that's a $1 bait, guys. Like, that's that's not a bad bait for a dollar. So basically, what we got from this video is if you guys are like a budget fisherman and you're just getting into it, you don't have to go out there and buy a stinking $8 War Eagle spinnerbait. These right here, if this is all you can afford, hey, they work. I showed you today. They work, guys. If that's all you can get, they work. So personally... So personally, do I think... So personally, do you... <laughs> <laughs> you mess up so much. Well, that's part of it, but still. <laughs> so personally, do I think I could have caught more fish if I had an expensive War Eagle buzz bait? Honestly, I may have caught maybe one or two more just because of the hook's better quality. But all in all, I don't think I could have got any more bison than I could with a better buzz bait than I could on these right here. Subscribe. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button in the middle. If you already subscribed, feel free to watch more videos on the left. And as always, favorite squad, post it up on the right. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrade1.com or the link in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button. And besides that, hey, I'll see you later.